So my name is Ross. I'm an environmental scientist at Hydrobiology. I've worked with open source programs since uni, so it's been about eight years now. And I've been using them pretty much every day. Mostly R and QGIS, but a few other things such as Web ODM now. And so we looked at producing uh, nearshore benthic habitat maps using drone surveys as the primary method of data capture. Normally it's a pretty intensive survey for a benthic community habitat survey, so they're pretty critical in Western Australia. If anyone's done any work for government, uh, environmental impact assessments, things like that, you'll know that uh, your baseline data set for habitat is very, very important. So it typically involves a number of different tools and equipment. So we've got sonar here, we've got a nice image of a dolphin from our toad video. That's a drop camera going down. There's me playing around with a GoPro that doesn't want to work half the time. A um, whole bunch of cables running off boats. So it can get um, pretty intense and for some areas, you know, it can take a week and you actually don't get that great of spatial coverage. So we wanted to do some work for an underscores client to provide a preliminary map for them to make some decisions in a coastal zone in WA. So we decided to use a drone survey and we used Web ODM to create our ortho mosaic. So here's an ortho mosaic here. Um, Web ODM didn't go to plan, it was usable, but in areas where we had a lot of sand, um, the stitching didn't work very well. So we switched over to drone deploy because luckily we had it at the time. That's not a knock on Web ODM. It's probably 100% my fault that it didn't work, didn't have the right settings. So that was unfortunate. But uh, Drone Deploy did do a decent job, so we were able to go and create our map. And then we threw our author mosaics into a QGIS uh, plugin called SCP. Um, so the preliminary analysis we just did uh, to test it out. Um, so we pretty much drew our uh, areas of interest. So here is some macrophytes here, some sand up there. And basically we told the plugin what was going on, so training areas. Um, and then pretty much after we told it enough of the training areas, it spat out some data for us. So in the yellow, you can see the areas of sand. In the green, you can start to see uh, vegetation. So in the water, macrophytes, so seagrass, algae. Um, so for basic analysis, this model actually worked really, really well and was a hell of a lot better than doing a week in a boat and then drawing polygons for a week afterwards <laughs> and reviewing, uh, you know, hours and hours of toad video and, and images. So it worked pretty quickly, um, it worked very well, it was actually very well done. So the future of it for us is to improve our use of web ODM so we can get really, really good data out of it and then also to utilise multispectral drone imagery because this was just done with a, a typical RGB camera. Um, so bring in multispec and get some really, really good data out of it. I just want to thank the developers of uh, QGIS, Web ODM and SCP and then also everyone that's been part of the FOS4G community that's pulled this together today. It's been really good. Thank you very much.